What's up, y'all? This your boy T.R. Thompson coming to you with the truth. And just remember that it is the truth that will make you free. All right. Um, I want to pause for a minute on um, the message that we have been um, talking about um, how to conquer the waiting process. And um, I like to talk to you guys briefly about something else that God has put in my spirit to um, to share with you guys. You know what I'm saying? Just to bring you a little social and spiritual awareness, you know. Um, God put this in my spirit and 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 I need to share it, you know what I'm saying? And if um, um and I pray and hope that you guys receive me um and, and receive me and um, um just know that I'm coming period hard. I'm not coming to 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 slander nobody or to hurt nobody's feelings, but I wanna I wanna help save us. See, you know. My my thing my thing is um, um, I'm concerned with folks that are lost. You know that's my concern. You know I I mean I love my other brothers and sisters in ministry. I love um, people that are saved, and I, I I love my brothers and sisters that are saints of God. I love them, but this is not really for them. This is for folks that are lost. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help people out that is unaware and that is lost. You know, that's my purpose of bringing you ministry um, by this way. So, uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get quick and brief um, and to the point. Um, if I had to choose just a little topic, the topic would be there are 12 types of people that is in danger of social media, all right? There, there's 12 types of people that is in danger of social media, okay? And I wanna talk, I'm gonna tell y'all about those. Um, social media, uh, whether you like it or not, is the way of this culture. It's the way of life. Um, there's nothing that you can do to preach against it, to stop it. Um, it's just the way of life. And um, when a lot of people tell you that um, I don't do Facebook, I don't do YouTube, I don't do Twitter, I don't do this, I don't do that. Well, they may not directly do those things, but indirectly they are still affected by social media. Whether you got kids that is on social media, whether you got friends that is on social media, whether you got um, um, a wife or a sister or brother that's on social media, and it, it, it may be your birthday or it may be something that you have going on, and um, and they gonna post your picture on social media. So you may not be directly involved with social social media, but indirectly you are a part of the social media culture. And there is nothing that we can do to stop it. It's just like, you know, when cable TV came out. You know, you had some folk that say, I ain't dealing with no cable TV. You know, but here now, you can't do nothing but deal with cable TV because you ain't go, you're not going to look at TV unless you got cable. So um, it is just a way of life, you know, and, and, and there's nothing that we can do to stop it. it, it it's, it's here. That's why, that's why God, you know, allowed me to to bring my ministry on social media because I was about to get ready to start my ministry back on the radio and he told me why. You know, why are you gonna do it on the radio? Ain't nobody on the radio. Ain't nobody listening. Your crowd ain't listening on the radio. You need to go where your crowd is and where that is, that's social media. That's where your folks at. That's why I need you to minister to. So, but anyway, so social media is it, it, not, I would say it's not evil. But it's the way some people use social media, and not only how some people use it, it's some people that, hmm, they are not in a position to use good judgment when it comes to social media. And that's where some of these people are in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Social media will ruin your life if you don't have the right focus, if you don't have the right intent. If you are 
um, if you are one of these 12 people that I'm about to mention, then you may need to take a break from social media and then get healed first. And then once you get healed and then you come back to social media, then what we need, then we need accountability partners. You know, like even myself, as I do my ministry on Facebook, I have count accountability partners that watch my videos, that watch and hear what I say. And if I go left or go right or go wrong or do say something that I don't have no business saying, then these people go pull me to the side and say, hey, T, hey, you may need to watch talking about that or you may not need to say it that way, you know. And I, and I need that because we all need to be accountable. Because even the scripture even tells us that every idle word will be accounted for. Everything we say, we're going to have to answer for so many things that we say. And so therefore, even in the instance of Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or uh, Instagram, we got to be mindful of what we are doing and saying on social media because we could be making it hard on ourselves you know so anyway there are there's 12 people that is in danger on facebook and i and i'm gonna tell you these people and i'm gonna tell you the type of people they are and i'm gonna tell you why you're in danger all right the first person that's in danger of facebook or social media I would say, say social media are lonely people, people that are lonely. You must watch yourself. You must have accountability partners on Facebook or YouTube or social media. I'm just going to continue to say social media. Lonely people will post things that will show you that they're lonely. See, see, lonely people, they will post things to appear to look busy or to appear to uh, be doing a lot of things, but in actuality, people can see that you're actually lonely. You're actually posting these things and, because you're trying to make yourself not lonely, and you're and you're seeking attention, and 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 and, and, and you are in danger of social media because what's going to happen is you're going to get what you're asking for, but what you, what you're asking for is only going to be temporary, and you're going to be back lonely all over again. So that's one. Two, bitter and unhappy people. These people are in danger on social media. Yes, because bitter and unhappy people, they go all they just gonna be on Facebook or on Twitter and on these YouTubes and all these things. They gonna just they gonna attract things that, that they can identify with. People that are complaining, people that are 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 are, are, are things that are not positive and so therefore they're going to post things and they're going to always be something that was some drama it's going to always be some some foolishness attached to it you are in danger on here because see let me let me tell you this the same thing that's going on with these 12 types of people the spirit of these people lives on social media so guess what you got the spirit of loneliness on social media you got the spirit of bitterness on social media. And so therefore, what, what's going to happen is you're going to be fed by these things and your actions, your actions are going to display what you're really dealing with. And people are going to be able to see straight through what you're trying to hide. You're not really going to be able to hide it because, and, and then people going to eat you up with it. And then that spirit is going to consume you. And, and it's not going to get any better. You're going to continue to do things that show people that you're really bitter and you're unhappy. All right? Three, angry folks. Folks that is angry. <laughs> you may need to take a break from Facebook or, or Twitter or, or, or social media. You may need to take a break because what's happening is you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be sending out angry messages. That's all you're going to be involved in, the drama, stuff that, you know, just, just, you will always be in beef. Uh, uh, you, you, will, you will always be at odds with folks. And, and, and that's not good. And see, what's going to happen is your anger is going to overconsume you. And what's going to happen then, that spirit of anger, remember what I'm saying, every, every person that I'm talking about, the spirit of that person lives on Facebook, lives on Twitter, lives on social media. So therefore, if you're angry, 
You got the spirit of angry on Facebook, on these sites, on these on social media. And what's going to happen is going to be something that's going to provoke you to show your anger. And once you show it, people going to see it. And then some folks go agitate you even more because they know that you're angry. You are in danger on social media. Vulnerable people. This is for people that are vulnerable. You have to really watch it on social media. Because see what you're going to do when you're vulnerable, you're going to look for any kind of way to be con 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 uh, uh, what, what I want to say. You, 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 you're going to look for any kind of way of attention. You're going to, you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to, you, you may be special to ladies. You may be showing all of your posts, you showing your cleavage or all your posts, you showing your body or you showing a part of yourself that you really don't need to be even showing on social media, but it's all because you're vulnerable and you need attention. And so therefore you, and you gonna try to cover it up by saying, you know, this is me, this is how I do it or uh, this and that. But in actuality, you, you, you're vulnerable. Some folks call it thirsty. So therefore I, I, you're in danger. On social media, you are in danger. Even me, and some some of us, we're vulnerable. We thirsty. We we crave for attention, or we we crave to be liked, or we crave to 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 be accepted. And and if you in that type of spirit, or if you in that type of zone, then you need to watch it on social media. You are in danger. I'm telling you. I, I'm I'm I'm, I'm pleading with y'all today. You are in danger. I'm telling you, and your boy want to help you out. You know what I'm saying? But listen, feel depressed. People that are depressed, you are in danger on social media. Yes, because people can see your depression, and, and, and you and you go and you gonna continue to expose yourself, and, and you go and, and see the and people that are dealing with these things or being depressed. What's gonna happen is all your posts are going to show that you're really depressed. And not only that, you don't need to show the world that you are in that state of mind. Right then, you need a savior. You need Jesus. You need you need more than uh, um, social media. Social media is, is, is just a, is a, is a quick fix. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and really, the, the, the spirit that you're dealing with is living on Facebook. So then you're going to continue. All you're going to see is you gonna identify with is folk that feel like you do, and and, and 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 it's time to live. It ain't time to be. It ain't, it ain't. You don't need to be depressed. And if you are depressed, you need to go to the proper place to get that fixed. And that's in your word. And that's that's you need to find some 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 folks that can that, that can be your strength in that time. Ain't nothing wrong with going through a little depression, but you can't sit there and you can't come to social media uh, and, and 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 think that that's gonna fix. Your depression, it's going to make it worse because social media is not the Bible. Social media is not the word of God. Social media is not God. You may find God on social media by someone who's teaching the word or preaching the word, but there's not many that is choosing to do that on social media. All right. Six, sensitive people. If you got your feelings on your shoulder, you have no business. This is this is dangerous for you because people going to tell you what they feel about you, especially if you open yourself up to people. This is a public place. This social media is very public. So they gonna, they may tell you that, honey, why, why you got on that shirt? Or they may say, uh, 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 you this or you that. This, this is a place that folks going to be very judgmental. And if you are sensitive, and you got your feelings on your shoulder, you are in danger on social media. I'm telling you, you are in danger because social media go eat you alive. Yes, because folks on here, they don't care. They gonna tell you what they think about you. They gonna tell you if you if you wearing something that's ridiculous. They gonna tell you something that, 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 that you know, they gonna tell you if you your post don't make sense, they gonna tell you, they, gonna, they got a way of telling you. Even if they don't come in on your page or or say something on your on your on, on your page, they they may put up a post about you. And if you got if you got good sense, you'll know that they talking about you. But if you're sensitive, if you're sensitive, and you got your feelings on your shoulder, 
you you may need to take a break off of social media because you're going to get your feelings hurt, all right? Seven, gossipers. Oh, this is a big one. Number seven, gossipers. Gossipers, you are in danger on Facebook or social media or Twitter, Instagram. You are in danger because gossipers, what, what, what gossipers struggle is they own they own social media just to find something to talk about. And not only do they talk about it, they go post about it. Or they go find other folk to talk about it with. And, 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 and then the thing about gossipers, they like to talk and they like to say things and they like to talk about folk and they like to spread folks business. But when it comes when the tables are turned and they and they talked about it and, and they got stuff out on them. Then what happens, they retaliate with anger. They retaliate with bitterness. They retaliate. And so then that's when the drama starts. And see, that that's when we begin to lose ourselves because we blinded by all these things we're dealing with. So gossipers, if you know you got a problem with gossiping, you may, and, and you really trying to get that under control or you trying to be healed from that, you may need to take a break from social media. Yeah, because see, social media is not a place to show that you're a gossiper. Yeah, because see, one thing about it, if you're a gossiper, that table can be turned very quickly. And you can be talking about somebody or liking a, liking something that somebody else said. Or or you can be be talking about somebody's parents or child or, or, or doing that. And, and next thing you know, somebody finds something out on you. And then they don't feel so great. So, so gossipers, hey. I mean, seven, eight, jealous folks. If you are jealous, if you dealing with jealousy, social media, it, you, you're in danger on social media. Yes, you are in danger because you're going to always see somebody that got a little more than you. You will always see somebody that even appear to have a little more than you or to have or, or got, got what you want. And if you deal with jealousy, you're going to be in danger on social media because see everybody, everybody living and, and see one thing about social media, people most of the time show what they want to be shown. So therefore ain't nobody going to finish. Ain't nobody going to show you. They like me. Uh, and, uh, they like me in a $500. They ain't got money to pay it. Who go, who go post that? So you got to understand real life folk going to show you the, Try to show you the good stuff. They gonna try to show you what they want you to see, what they want you to 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 to, to look at, you know. But 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 sadly, there are jealous people on social media, and, and what they gonna do is they gonna try to do everything to stop a person or to 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 throw shade at a person because they're dealing with this spirit of jealousy. All right, nine lustful. Lustful. This is a big one too. If you got a problem with lust, you in danger zone on social media. Yes, lustful. Yes, because folks, are, folks, go, you see a lot. You see everything on on these different sites. And if you having a problem with lust, with the eyes, especially when concerning the other sex, or uh, and you know you 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 got lust for eyes. You gonna have a big problem on social media, yes. And so, and if you're dealing with that, you might need to take a break. You might need to step back, and, and, and because you are in danger. And, and what's gonna happen is, when you when you deal with this, social media is gonna feed you exactly what you're dealing with. See, it's a quick fix. See, if you're dealing with lust of the eyes, you go you gonna always see women that have naked on them. That's, that's it go jump out in your eyes. If you're dealing with if you're dealing with that, you gonna all if you're a woman, you you gonna always see male, you know, a strong built handsome male, you know, with a chest out, you know, and, and you you looking it's like ooh wee. If you if that's a struggle for you, then you may need to step back because you are in danger. All right. 10, super religious. And I got to hit that one. Super religious. Now, a lot of people may say what I do is super religious. Nah, that ain't super religious. That just 
I, I'm, 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 I'm seeing a need and I'm, I'm doing what the spirit of God want me to do by being transparent and talking to you guys and bringing you spiritual and social awareness. But now super religious is when super religious is when <laughs> I, I it's going to take a minute for this, one. but super religious is when you, 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 you look at you on here looking for fault. It, you judgmental. Ooh, look at her. Why she post that? Ooh, look at him. Why she post? Why he post that? Ooh, look at her. Why she got that on her? Ooh, why that? This and that. See, and you you're being judgmental. You're super religious, and you and you're being you're being judgmental to 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 the wrong folks. What I'm saying. See, see. Uh, so therefore, super religious is when you 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 talking more about your church than you are talking about Jesus. You know, it's not about your church. It's about Jesus. It's about showing love and showing Christ, bringing awareness to people. But if you're super religious, you may not need to be on here. Because, see, you got people that will that will pat you on the back and being super religious. And, 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 then, and then that's not drawing people to Christ. Religion don't draw people to Christ. Christ draw people to him. The Bible says, if he be lifted up, he'll draw all men unto him. All right? But now, listen. Selfish. If you're self-centered and you all about you, it, 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 you in danger zone on social media also. If you're selfish, what you mean if you're selfish? If it's all about you. You you don't, you don't pay no attention to nobody else post. You don't, you don't even worry about nobody post. You all focus on what going on with you? If they liking my page, they if they liking what I'm doing. You know, it's all about me. You know what I'm saying? I I I. I you, and then when you selfish, you get in competition. And when you're in competition, that's when somebody you see I might see somebody post a picture of they car. Then you post a picture of your car, saying, "Hey, they getting too much attention. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do my picture about my car." You're selfish, and you're in you're in danger zone on social media. All right. Last but not least, conceited and arrogant. When you're conceited and you're arrogant and, and it's all about you, once again, you know, that's different than self. It's the same thing as selfish, but when you're when you're conceited and arrogant, you you you're trying to make yourself appear to be above everybody else. You're trying to make yourself look like you know, it ain't nobody else like you. You know, I'm 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 this dude. I'm that dude, and, and ain't nothing wrong with having confidence. But when you when but when you're arrogant and you conceited, that you on here looking, you on social media looking down on folks that appear to be lower than your standards. You're in danger zone, and the reason why I say danger zone, and those are the twelve that I, I wanted to discuss, and so and the reason why I say danger zone, the reason why I, I'm calling it danger zone, and Reason why you are in danger, we if you if you are dealing with any of these twelve, you are in danger. Why? Because it's just like a sick person. It's like a person that got uh uh. It's like a person that has um pneumonia. You you're sick, and you need to be healed first before you expose yourself to folks. Because what's gonna happen is you gonna get other folks sick, and you're not gonna get well yourself. So I just wanted to. To, to give that to y'all and, and I'm praying and hope that that really ruffles some feathers because it's for your good. Get some accountability partners. I, I need for everybody that's on social media, get you an accountability partner or partners. Get somebody that's able to say, hey, hey, bro, uh, I seen what you post. You might not need that said that or get somebody that going to tell you the straight up truth. Hey, you showing too much. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? No, no, everybody don't need to see that. You better do that. I'm telling you because what's gonna happen? You, you, you gonna ruin your life, and 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 and, and you gonna embarrass yourself, and, and 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 it's not gonna be good. All right. So hey, remember there is always a word when I post something. There's always a word, and I know that this is very long. This was a very long uh, type of post, but I, I needed to get all of this out because. I feel like we are in danger, and I'm hoping that everybody listen to this message. You know what I'm saying? We need to keep one another accountable because social media is a blessing, but at the same time, if it's not used correctly, it can be a curse, and it can be and it can it can, it can stunt your growth and where you're trying to go spiritually. So at your at at, at time, let, let me bag all this up with scripture. 
please let me bag it all up with scripture. I know that I don't went over my minutes, but let me bag this up with scripture. I got to let you know this. At, at, at time, when you got time, go to Galatians 5, 5th chapter, the the 19th verse, 19th verse, and I start reading right there. It said, now the works of the flesh are evident. Listen. And all these is are works of the flesh that I just explained to you. The works of the flesh are evidence, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambition, decisions, heresies, um, enemy murders, drunkenness, rivalries, and the like of which I tell you beforehand, just as I as also told you in the past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians 5, 19 through 21st verse. That was the word, y'all. I care about y'all, man. I love y'all, and I'm praying and hope that you take this message in. All right? This your boy T.R. Thompson coming to you with the truth. Just remember that it is the truth that will make you free. All right? Y'all be blessed, man. Peace.